Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to add fog or clouds to any image inside of GIMP. So for this tutorial, you're going to need the gimmick library, which is a free download. I believe the URL is gimmick.eu. I'll have a link in the description so you can go ahead and download that. So with your image, you're going to want to go up to filters and then go down to gimmick QT to open up the gimmick pop-up window. Inside of gimmick QT, search for cloud, and it's going to be under patterns. So with the cloud pattern, You'll be able to see some computer generated clouds appear in your image. Now initially they're going to be at random areas all the way across your image, but later we'll mask out the areas where it doesn't make sense for there to be any clouds or fog. So the first thing we're definitely going to want to set is output mode in the bottom right where it says input output. Make sure that you have output mode set to new layers so that when you apply this effect it will create a new layer and apply the effect on top of that rather than overwriting the original layer. Next if you want the effect to be stronger you can boost density and you can make it a very high density if you'd like later on you can lower the opacity down so that the thickness of the clouds will be lowered a little bit after you see uh, the effect after we apply it. You can also play around with the smoothness to change the effect a little bit. Note that every time you change a setting it will create a new auto generation of your fog. So if you don't like the current positioning of the clouds, just try changing a setting by just a tiny bit. When you're done, you can go ahead and hit apply, which should create a new layer. So click OK to exit the gimmick window. And now we're going to be editing the fog on the new layer. So if you want to decrease the effect of the fog all the way across and let some of the background image show through a little bit more, you can just lower the opacity down. And that's going to allow the fog modified image to blend with the original image, making it look like there's less fog than in the original effect. When you have it roughly where you like it, you can right click on the fog layer and then add a layer mask. Initialize it with full opacity and then we can start drawing away the areas where we want to hide the fog from because it doesn't make sense. For instance, a really obvious example would be this tree trunk over here. If you were looking at a tree from that distance, there's no way there would be that much fog in reality. So when you're painting on the layer mask, the colors range from white, which will fully allow the image to show through, to black, which will make it completely transparent and invisible. So if you want to remove the fog completely, then you want to take your color and set it to 000 black and then you can take the paintbrush and start drawing over the areas where you don't like that effect at all and we can completely remove the fog just by doing that. Alternatively we could make it somewhere in between by drawing with a middle opacity so that every brush stroke doesn't 100% apply the new color or by changing the color to something in between black and white. So you can pick any shade of gray here and then hit OK. And now we can start drawing over the areas once again if we want to bring some of the fog back in, like so. And then we just continue this whole layer masking idea for pretty much the rest of the image. So what we might like to do is set your foreground and background colors to black and white, like so. And lower the opacity on your brush down to something modest, like 25 or 50 percent. And then you can start modifying your image incrementally by using X to switch between colors. So white to bring the fog back and then black to hide it. And you might find that to be a slightly faster workflow here. Uh, note that when you do not have 100 percent opacity, though, you may have to use multiple strokes to get it exactly where you want it to be. Uh, but being able to make multiple strokes to incrementally change it also allows you to have more control over it without having to directly change your colors. If you ever want to take a look at your layer mask and see exactly what you're masking out, you can right click on the layer mask layer and choose show layer mask. So doing that will actually allow you to see better exactly where you're hiding stuff and where you're not. So you may actually find it easier to work like this. So I'm just going to kind of go around here, filter out the fog in the areas that need it. And just to bring a little bit more detail back down here for the fog, I'll lower the opacity down and just make some very modest adjustments here. And I might decrease the fog on the trees in the middle ground by just a little bit as well. So kind of drawing over them a little bit with the brush, very low opacity here. And we can hide the layer mask, right click, show layer mask again, and see if we like what we have so far. If we want to re-increase or decrease the effect again, we can increase or decrease the opacity to bring more of the fog in, or hide most of it by lowering the opacity. So I'll leave it somewhere there around 88%. And so now we can take a look at a before and after. So we have the after and the before, the original image, and then the after one more time. 
So that's a really easy way you can add fog to an image inside of GIMP. This obviously would work with clouds as well if you were dealing with a sky image. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.